Oh yeah, right. Good God. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and welcome to Awu. Number 59. For the week of April 18th, 2011. I was standing on the number. Hey, we're running low on intros, so feel free to send in some cool intros to info at achievementhunter.com and label it, or make your subject line, Awu Intros. And also, uh, feel free to send in numbers, too. We're always looking for more numbers. Um, just, you know, the cooler place you can put yourself, the better. So to say, uh, whatever to say, number... Eh, eh, eh. And then in the subject line to info to achievementhunter.com, write awu number and then write the number you, that you picked. But yeah, cool scenery and uh, boobs always helps. Okay, so uh, this is a big, big, big week in the world of video games. Talking, of course, about the release of Portal 2 and of Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Essentially Mortal Kombat 9. Fatality. Both of those games seem to be eclipsing everything else in the world. I had a ton of trouble finding out if there's any DLC coming out this week or not. I have no clue. It seems like the world has Portal 2 and Mortal Kombat on the brain, and probably rightly so. They're not the only releases this week, though. We also have SOCOM 4 coming out for the PS3. I know that there's uh, there's those people, there's those SOCOM people, Jack. Do you know who those people are? Those people fucking love SOCOM. SOCOM is the only game in the world to those people. Also, uh, let's see what else is coming out. Section 8 Prejudice is coming out for Xbox Live Arcade, as well as Fancy Pants, which I know Jack is going to be all over, because that's what they used to call them in high school. Oh, there's also the Xbox Live Arcade compilation triple pack thing, which is coming to retail stores, which is pretty cool. It has Trials HD, Limbo, and Splosion Man, so three of the more popular arcade games all rolled into one disc, so that should be fun. Okay, so my achievement of the week is uh, actually one that Jack suggested, and I think rightly so. It's in Portal 2, and uh, I have no idea what it's about, but it sounds fun. The name of the achievement is The Part Where He Kills You. It's for 20 gamer score, and the description is This Is That Part. Come on. You know you want to get that achievement. Oh, uh, also, before I let Jack go on and do the news, uh, it's Easter week here at Achievement Hunter, so we're going to be doing some Easter-themed videos throughout the week. Like, uh, I think uh, the first one coming up is going to be the top, top, top 10 Easter eggs throughout the entire Halo franchise. So uh, look for that if you like Easter eggs and Easter bunnies and eggs that come out of bunnies. And... Jack. So as far as news goes this week, a bunch of cool stuff coming out. Um, I don't know if you caught our video we put out last Friday, but uh, Valve did this really neat thing for their Steam fans for Portal 2, where they actually released this website where, um, well, they released like a pack of games you could download, and if you play these games with other people, or just play these games in general, you actually sped up the process of the release for Portal 2 for the Steam community. And uh, right now, I think the game's going to release about seven or eight hours early. It was, it was scheduled to release like 9 a.m., and I think now it's at about 11 o'clock tonight. That's pretty cool that they would do that. And they're actually, you know, promoting these smaller independent developers who are working on stuff too, to, uh, you know, help push their games as well as, you know, help get Portal 2 release. So good on you, Steam and Valve. Also, don't forget today that today is the day. Also, don't forget that today is the day for you Bulletstorm fans to uh, put your game back in and play some Gears of War 3. That's right, the beta is now open for you Bulletstorm owners. You can drop it in and play the game through the menu there. I don't know if there's a download or what. I'm sure there is some sort of download, but you have to play it through. Kind of like um, what they did with ODST in Halo 3? Is that what it was? Anyway, there was a, there was a game like that before. <laughs> Breaking news! Also, if you go to the uh, Avatar Marketplace and go, I think, to the Halo Waypoint uh, store, you can buy all kinds of awesome Rooster Teeth related merchandise like a Caboose Negative One shirt, or a Legitimate Strategy shirt, or a Griff Ball shirt, or a Griff Ball prop, even. Or a Griff costume with a Rooster Teeth logo right here. Boop, boop. How's your costume? Oh, you don't. Yeah. Also announced last week, the guys over at Penny Arcade announced a new convention kind of thing called PAX Dev, which is not really, well, maybe it's not really a convention, but two days before PAX Prime, which is going to be August... 24th and 25th, um, they're inviting developers, game developers, to come up early and sort of meet other developers in the industry, which is an opportunity for these guys to meet up, talk about theory and gaming, stuff like that, and it's completely off limits for press or anyone else. It's just for developers. It's really neat to kind of have them cultivate that that group of people. So, get on you, PAX, and uh, then PAX, Pr PAX Prime properly starts, that was tough to say, properly starts uh, on that Friday, which is August 26th through 28th, and we'll be up there too. So, there you go. If you're a developer and you're interested in the, uh, the PAX Dev, you should check it out. You can go register now. So that pretty much does it for the week. I'm going to get to Portal 2 and Mortal Kombat. I'm so excited. All right, that's it. See you next week. Yeah. Toasty. Finish him. Fatality. Toasty. Babality. Friendship. Flawless victory. Finish him. Fatality. Toasty. Babality.